Hey everyone, and welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. Noah here, and today we will learn how to make sprite sheets in Photoshop, and then import those into Unity to make game-ready animations. For those having followed the two previous videos on how to draw and animate pixel art game characters, this is the final follow-up tutorial in which you'll learn how to get those cool animations into Unity. If you haven't watched those pixel pixel art related videos though, but have some cool animations ready to be brought into Unity, then of course this video will also guide you step by step along the way. So here is a very simple animation of a jumping slime creature, made using Photoshop's timeline. I now want to import this into Unity. Sadly, there isn't any export animation option inside of Photoshop, so to do so we need to make a sprite sheet, which as you'll see is really easy. Before creating my sprite Sprite sheet, I'll head over to image, image size, and note down somewhere my current image's width and height, which in my case is 34 pixels for width and 39 for height. I'll then count the number of images making up my animation, which in my case is 6, and multiply my width with that number of images, which for me ends up as a value of 204. Now I can create a new Photoshop file and type in the right dimensions for my sprite sheet. So 39 pixels for height and 204 pixels for width. This way I'll have enough room to place all the images and making up my animation one next to the other. Awesome. However, this white rectangle doesn't give us much indication of where our various images should be placed. To help ourselves out, we can enable the Photoshop grid under the View Show Menus. This will render out a bunch of lines which will make placing our images a lot more easy and accurate. Your grid, however, may look like a complete mess, so to tweak its settings, head over to Preferences, Guides, Grids and Slices. Doing so will open up this cool menu in which we can change how many bold grid lines we would like every X amount of pixels. Here you should type out the width value of your images, which in my case is 34. As for subdivisions, cranking up this value will increase the amount of crisscrossing lines making up your grid, which again will come in handy when placing your various images on this sprite sheet. I think 5 subdivisions should be largely enough in my case. Now that the sprite sheet is all set up, I'll head back to the file with my animation and grabbing the first frame of that animation, I'll use my lasso tool and encircle my whole canvas copying the image on it with Control c and then pasting that same image onto my sprite sheet with Control v I'll now hit Control t on my keyboard to be able to move this image around the sprite sheet and be able to properly place it. Since this is the first frame, I'll put it at the start of my sprite sheet, making sure to place it well between these two lines, since remember, we need to leave enough room for the other frames of our animation. I'll now copy the next frame of my animation, pasting it into my sprite sheet and placing it next to the first frame. Now when doing so, try your very best to be consistent with where everything is placed. In other words, if the character's lowest body part is roughly one subdivision away from the edge of the canvas, then do the same for the second frame. Here my character's left side was more or less 1.5 subdivisions away from the left edge. And so, once again, try doing the same for the second image, third and so on. However, here you see that my character is squashing slightly, so obviously it's only normal that his left and right side get nearer to the edges. Same here where as a result of jumping in the air, my character is further away from the bottom edge and nearer the top edge. This may seem tough at first but I promise that with practice this will be a no brainer, less than a 5 minute job to complete. Once you are satisfied with your sprite sheet, it's time to save it inside of your Unity project. Note that you can come back later and easily edit your sprite sheet if your animation in Unity looks a little shaky or weird, as we'll see in just a moment. So head over to File and hit Save Has, and then choose a location for your saved file, which in my case will be my Unity project. Heading over to Unity, you'll see that I now have this cool looking sprite sheet, except drag and dropping this into the scene view will give us some truly horrifying results. 
our sprites are blurred and compact together, which is obviously something we want to change. So I'll take a look at my import settings and start by changing the filter mode to point, no filter. This will remove all of that ugly blur. Note that you only really need to change the setting if you've created pixel art or very, very small sprites. Next up, I'll set my sprite modes to multiple. Hitting apply to well, apply all those settings, I can now, thanks to having changed my sprite mode to multiple, hop into the sprite editor and divide all these images into individual sprites. You can slice up these sprites manually by simply left clicking with your mouse and dragging, or, and this is more recommended when it comes down to sprite sheets, head over to slice and choose for slice type grid by cell size. Now all you need to do is type in a width and height value for each sliced sprite. These values are the same as for our sprite sheet, so in my case 34 pixels wide and 39 long. I can now hit slice and you'll see that the sprite editor has automatically cut up our frames into individual sprites. Super. Of course, don't forget to hit apply once you're done. Opening up my sprite sheet, I'll shift select all the sprites and drag and drop them into my scene view. Doing so will automatically create an animation, which I'll have to save somewhere in my Unity project. To view this animation, I need to open up the animation window, which you can find under the Windows menu you and hitting the play button, you can take a look at your animation. Now, chances are high your animation is way too fast. If that's the case, then all you need to do is change the sampled value right here. Increasing this value will get your animation playing faster, whereas lowering this value will slow down your animation. Chances are also high your animation feels a little shaky or unappealing compared to what it was in Photoshop. The sole reason being you didn't place your sprites well enough on your sprite sheet. So remember, if that's the case, all you need to do is change stuff around in your sprite sheet and then simply save your file with Control S and all those changes will automatically be updated inside of Unity. Lastly, you may very well want some frames to last longer than others in your animation. To achieve this, simply select all keyframes coming after the frame you wish to hold for a little longer and drag them over to the right. And that will mark the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful and will now be able to import your animations more easily from Photoshop to Unity. If you have any questions, definitely go ahead and post them in the comment section down below and I'll answer the fastest possible. You can also support me and my channel via Patreon, like these top supporters, which would be so appreciated and help me continue making regular game dev content. Hitting the like and subscribe buttons would also be really awesome. With that said, stay tuned, cheers.